The story of Prophet Hood, peace be upon him. Arrogant people went from strength to nothing. Prophet Hood, Eber in English, peace be upon him, was sent to an ancient tribe called Ad, who is believed to have been in the curved sandhills of Oman and Yemen. They worshipped idols as gods, which they believed would give them happiness and money to protect them from evil, harm, and all disasters. The people of Prophet Hood were very tall, strong, and well-built. They were arrogant people who would show off, bully, oppress people with their large size. According to the Holy Quran, they would say, Who is greater than us in strength? Quran chapter 41, ayah 15. They were known to build tall towers. Their area became known as the land of a thousand pillars, since God blessed them with fertile soil and abundant agriculture, many children, an ample supply of livestock, and easy access to water resources. They mistakenly understood the purpose of life was to gather wealth, status in life, and live in luxury. Prophet Hood, peace be upon him, would command them to fear and obey God. According to the Holy Quran, Prophet Hood, peace be upon him, would say to his people, O oh, my people, worship Allah, you have no God besides him. You are not but inventors of falsehood. Quran chapter 11, ayah 50. Prophet Hood advised them to ask God for forgiveness for their arrogance and carelessness, and told them that if they seek forgiveness, God will increase them in power, strength, and wealth. According to the Quran, Prophet Hood would say, And, O my people, ask forgiveness for your Lord and then repent to him. He will send rain from the sky upon you in showers and increase you in strength and add to your strength, and do not turn away being criminals. Quran chapter 11, ayah 52. However, the people of Prophet Hood proudly saw themselves as the most powerful nation in existence. They rejected their prophet's message, believing that after death their bodies would decay to dust and be swept away by the wind. With their hearts and minds filled with the accumulation of this world, they would say to their prophet, Why did God choose you when you are no different from the rest of us? You eat and drink like the rest of us. Prophet Hood's people proudly stated, Have you come to turn us away from our gods? Then bring us the disaster which you threaten us with if we don't listen. Prophet Hood, peace be upon him, turned to God the Almighty and renounced his people. Soon after, the people of Hood suffered through a three-year famine and a drought which spread throughout the once green, fertile, and abundant land. The people looked to the sky, hoping to see signs of rain. One fateful day, the weather changed. The burning heat changed to furious, violent winds which God the Almighty imposed on them for seven nights and eight days. The wind ripped apart their homes, possessions, clothing, and even the skin on their bodies. The sands of their desert swallowed and buried their crops. Only Prophet Hood and his small group of believers were saved and are believed to have migrated to southern Yemen.